Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy or Amy Louise. If you are new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today I thought I would do an updated daily makeup routine because my makeup on a day to day basis is very simple and basic. And then the days I'm filming or I'm creating something for like Instagram, it is very, very different. So I kind of want to show you like the two sides so um if you're interested then keep on watching okay so if you look you can see that i do have scars my skin's actually pretty good at the minute but i do have scars i have a, like a couple of like breakouts that are just kind of going at the minute like one here one down here but generally like, I have pretty good skin, except for, oh, I've got another breakout here, um, the scars, basically. Um, but I am on a new skincare routine with Skin and Me. I do have a code, so I'll leave it in the description box down below, but um, not affiliated in any way. It just, it gets you £10 off your first order which means it's like £3.50 you just pay the shipping fee I did it I used my friend's code and I'm loving it I'm about two weeks in and I can see such a huge huge difference um but yeah I I have stuff to cover now I don't feel like I have to cover it but when I want to I can and I figured ways out where I don't have to wear like loads and loads of makeup to be able to do that and that is what I'm going to be doing today. First off I'm going in with my pink honey and I'm just going to pop this through the brows before I do anything because if I do like my moisturiser and my sunscreen beforehand then my brows don't really stick down <laughs> like it kind of just gets in the way so I'm just taking my pink honey I'm going to go back and forth through the brow to really get it in there and then I'll go and like brush them all up. How is everyone? I feel like I've not done like a video like this in so, so long. And I now have quite a few new subscribers. So you guys probably won't have watched this kind of video from me before. But yeah, this is just, this is me chilling. I'm not really trying to teach you anything or anything like that. I just want to share a little bit more chilled and relaxed. Okay, now I've done that, I'm going to take a damp cotton bud and I'm just going to remove the excess. Honestly, when I'm getting ready in the morning, it takes me 10 minutes or so. It really does not take me long. And I love that I can just kind of get up get ready quickly I don't have to do like a full face I don't have to do like eye makeup or anything like that and I can be like out the door super quick I'll be able to get the school run done go to work and I still look presentable and not cake faced but still look like I've got a little bit of makeup on my morning moisturizer is the one from Keys Soul Care, which is Alicia Keys's oh, Alicia Keys's skincare line, and this is the Skin Transformation Cream. I actually got this in PR a while ago, and since then I've repurchased. I really, really like this. I really like it. Just gonna pop this on. It just oh, it leaves my skin feeling stunning it feels gorgeous okay i'm going in with spf this is the boots sultan 50 plus uva plus 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 yes even in winter sunscreen like it is so important i like to almost apply it like it's a mask and then let it sit there for a minute to kind of start to to dry down and then massage it in. That way I know I've got like a really nice coverage everywhere. Get my ears and my onion rings, formerly known as ears. 
Okay, so you can see I don't really do my eyes, but I do that in a minute when I'm, I'm like massaging it in. I'm just going to give it a minute just to start to sit down because otherwise if you just straight rubbing it in, it takes forever. If you leave it 30 seconds to a minute to start to set down and soak into the skin, it kind of gets thicker and you can massage it in easier. And then I'll just take what's excess on my hands over the eye area just so that I don't get in my eye and then I end up getting my eyes stinging, I wear contacts as well so I want to be careful around the eye area in general. So I like to use it as an excuse to give myself a bit of a face massage. So I'm just, I'm putting quite a bit of pressure here and then pulling it out and then lifting the pressure, sweeping back and doing the same. And it just feels lovely. So pressure, up, down, up, down, bring the pressure down through under the eye to the temple, lift the pressure, sweep back. This helps with my puffy under eyes and it feels lovely. And then I'll go a little bit further down like the side of the nostrils and go down and then up the jawline. And then up the cheekbone. Like I said, just using whatever's left over on my fingers to get the eye area. I am so excited. I have Hull Fair tonight. I'm going to Hull Fair. It is a fair that comes to my city every year. For over 700 years, it is an institution. Everyone goes to Hull Fair that lives in Hull. People that don't live in Hull travel to come to Hull Fair. It is Europe's oldest, largest traveling fair. And like I said, it's been coming for over 700 years now. And it is just, oh, it's nostalgia it is amazing there's rides and there's games and there's amazing food well i say amazing it's like everything's fried <laughs> but it's so good um but yeah i'm going there tonight i've got work i'm going home um i've got a quick appointment with at hospital and then i'm going straight there and i am so excited because I get to go to fair. I didn't think I would get to go to fair tonight this year because of my work schedule and my husband's work schedule. But it's happening and my little boy who's almost nine, he's nine next month, is over the moon excited and I'm just like a little kid. I just want to go and get some candy floss and some donuts and go on the waltzes and just have a really good time. So I am like a little kid. I can't do shop. Like, I'm just like, it's whole fair. Um, yeah, this it's just amazing. We missed it last year due to COVID. And oh, I'm so excited to go back. I'm so excited. It is unreal. Okay, so next I'm going in with the NYX, what is this called? NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. And I'm just gonna fill in my brows with this. Okay, that is my brows done. Like, it really does not take me very long at all. Uh, so next, I am gonna do my base. Like, I don't do my eyes pretty much at all. Now, what I've been using recently is the L'Oreal True Match Plumping Tinted Serum 1% Pure Hyaluronic Acid. Now, I got the shade two to three light, but it is too dark. So I take a little bit of my Juvia's Place concealer in the shade 24 I think it's called that's all that's on here 24 I just take a little bit just like that like really not a lot just to lighten the shade of it so I've just got a tiny amount on the end of my finger I just take a few drops of the tinted serum and I mix them on the on my fingertips so it's like that and then I just rub it on like it's moisturizer or something I don't apply it like a typical foundation or anything this just really 
smooths out my skin it gives me coverage without being too much it wears beautifully and it just oh, i'm loving it i did do a foundation friday on it and i swear ever since i've loved it more and more each time i've used it I just really really enjoy it and adding that bit of concealer to lighten the shade really really pumps up just how much I love it it gives you a little bit more coverage and it just oh, it looks beautiful so I'm just making sure that it is blended out everywhere take it down my neck And like, yeah, there's the odd thing still poking through, but that's fine. Like, that's nothing, really, when you think about it. Okay, concealer. This one is the L'Oreal Infallible. I go between L'Oreal Infallible, the e.l.f. Camo, and the Primer one, which is the little skinny one. I don't know what. I've just thrown it across the room, but it's the little skinny one. I'll pick that up in a minute. Just going to pop it on the inner corners of my eyes like this is all like even when I'm doing like full glam this is all I'm doing at the minute and then I'm just taking like a little stippling brush and I just tap this out with this and like I said when I'm not filming and I'm just getting on with it this whole thing takes me 10 minutes 15 at most depending on if I'm if I've got music on and I'm like really like <laughs> jiving with the music it can take me longer because I'll end up stopping and I'm singing and messing about <laughs> teenager but um yeah it really does not take me very long at all it's awesome like I'll get up quickly do this well I'll have a couple of coffees first quickly do this get my son ready for school out the door simple it's so quick so easy and it looks like I've really put effort in even though I really haven't like such a small amount of effort I do take it almost in a triangle shape I take it down the sides of my nose around my nose because I do get red there ever since wearing a mask I'll get really red around my nose um, and then just drag it up to the temple just to like uh, to lift the face and then I'm going in with my Primark bronze whip which I'm, I'm gonna need a new one soon <laughs> but I really like it I know uh, there's a lot of people that love it and then some people that absolutely hate it and they're like it's orange I think it just completely depends on your skin I love it I'm just gonna pop this on like all the usual bronzy areas really I'm not going in heavy I like to get the corners of my hairline just because my hairline's quite square so I like to pop that on there kind of not correct it but just tweak it a little bit and then my cheeks and then I just pat a little bit down the sides of my nose and then over my eye just the excess that's on the brush really okay next I'm going in with the anywhere liquid cream blush blushed um, I have a whole bunch of these they change every day today I'm going in with dusky dusky rose yeah dusky rose and I'm just gonna pop this right on the tops of my cheeks I do like quite a blushy look so I go in with quite a lot but you don't need to and then I'm just going in with is that technically what is this I think this is a, a blush brush but I use it for all sorts foundation and all sorts so I'm just gonna tap this right over my cheeks and I take it up in my temple and then I take it over the eye as well and that way it kind of just looks a little bit more natural like you're naturally flushing rather than just having like blush it's like oh, blushed 
does that make sense it's just a little bit more natural and I'm not really like working it in circular motions I'm just tapping so that it's a little bit more natural looking and I just take the excess over the nose as well I'm just going to take my concealer brush again and I like to just tap underneath the eyes just to bring a little bit more lightness down there because I do feel like sometimes I go a little bit too close to the under eye there's no extra product on here but I just like to tap and just to bring a little bit more light to the center of my face before I powder everything boom and I'm breaking stuff again Okay, next I'm going in with a Courtier sponge. Oh, I love this powder and I need a new one because I've had to take the sifter out because I've got such a small amount in there. I need a new one. Uh, I'm going to take the puff and I'm just tapping it off in here so the excess can come off. I'm not really like tapping the pad, I'm tapping my thumb and that's going to bring all the excess off and you can see it's quite a lot in there. But there's not much on the puff and I'm just gonna set my face everywhere with this. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush with nothing on it and I'm just gonna go in circular motions over the top everywhere. This is gonna dust off all the excess. It's gonna make sure everywhere is set and that way even though I've powdered I haven't used a lot but I've still got like a sheen to my skin. It still looks like skin and not full face of makeup this is actually a highlighter brush this is a morphe e48 and i take this with l'oreal infallible powder foundation and i just I tap in and i take this under the eye just a little bit and then anywhere that i feel like i want just that little bit more coverage I'll just swirl this over the top and just get that little bit more coverage. It's really not a lot though. It's only in the certain areas. I just want that a little bit more. Bronzer, I'm sure you all know about this one now. Um, this is the Bronzed Paradise by L'Oreal. I'm just gonna go over all the areas where I did bronze earlier. This is light, so it's really not like harsh or anything i'm just gonna go over all those areas just bring a little bit more definition to my face and again i'm gonna tap over the eye area just like that so yeah how are you all what are you all up to are you all ready for halloween christmas is coming um there's a whole bunch of stuff like coming up like a lot of holidays and just i'm so excited i love this time of year it just feels like you're a kid again honestly like it feels like every morning you wake up and you're like oh my god it's nearly halloween it's nearly christmas it's nearly new year in the uk we have bonfire night it just feels magical that you can feel it in the air i'm going in with a pat mcgrath labs blush which was very kindly gifted to me by one of my patrons this is the skin fetish divine blush in cherish which is very pigmented and very pink but it looks gorgeous on the skin and i like to sweep from my temple down and then just buff it out with circular motions so that i'm not going too blush heavy yeah do you not feel like this time of year is the most just magical like it makes me feel like a kid again i love autumn i'll watch all the halloween movies and horror movies and you know like oh, all of it and i just absolutely live for Halloween and then Halloween's over and it's like right well I've got two months of Christmas movies and it's Miracle on 34th Street and Elf and just oh. my camera died so um where was I it is a magical time of year it makes me so happy just oh, love it 
absolutely love it i'm going in with the pretty little glow highlighter by doll beauty it's got like a pinky gold reflect which is just oh, love it and instead of going whole hog i'm like really going for it i basically i go on my temple and then slightly like literally just here i really don't do like the typical highlighter so just on the temple and then slowly bring it just to the corner of my eye just like below the corner of my eye and then i'm going to take it over the actual entire eyelid I'm going to pop a little bit over the arch of my brows, tip of my nose, bridge of my nose, then between the eyebrows and I just dust it up, like it's really not a lot, Cupid's bow, and then my chin, and that's all I do, and then I just go in, nothing on my brush, just to re, just make sure that it's really nice and blended just over all the areas and I go in with lip balm any lip balm this one today is the Dr. Lip Tin 100% natural superfood red radish pigment so it's slightly pink I'll either go in with a lip balm or a lip oil this is my entire base done dusted I don't do my eyes I don't put even put mascara on most days I just let my eyes breathe because when I do do makeup I do go kind of whole hog I do like to give my eyes a break I've got hair somewhere I can feel it now my skin to touch does feel dewy it does have a moisture to it and over the day that'll just sink into my skin and feel amazing and this way my skin doesn't ever look cakey if I was to really powder down my face to get it like matte over the day it will just look cakey and horrible in order to not have cakey skin for about an hour or two my skin will feel just moist like it's not wet but you can tell that there's moisture in there um and i actually kind of like it i didn't at first i was like oh i don't know about this but i've got sunscreen i've got moisturizer i've got the tinted serum i've got a lot of creams on my skin it takes a little bit for them to sink in but once they do it looks gorgeous on the skin anyway and still in that time while they're soaking into the skin your skin looks great and then by the end of the day your skin still looks great and because you've not got loads on your skin there's less to break down and you know come off and when if that does it's not as obvious i hope that makes sense so even when you're wearing a mask you can like i wear a mask for like say eight hours at work i take it off you can barely tell there'll be a little bit over the bridge of my nose and i can just tap like this over it and it'll fix it because it's still got a little bit of moistness to my base makeup it's I love it like I love it um, but yeah this is my everyday go-to makeup routine let me know what you think do you do something similar is there stuff that you feel like you're gonna add into your everyday makeup routine I love it let me know and I'll see you on the next one